In this video, we're going to explore how to add rounded borders on a donut chart in Chart.js 3. So with Chart.js 3, we can also add rounded donut chart or basically the segment of a donut chart and giving them a rounded border, which is wonderful. So let's start and explore this. For this, a quick side note is that you must have the latest version, which is 3.3.2. Reason why is that you're developing this new feature and going to eventually implement this. And right now it's active on this item or basically on this version. So let's start and copy here. Let's, I'm going to do it very fast. I'm going to copy here all of this code here, but this is a bar chart. So we're going to adjust it afterwards. We're going to paste this all in here. I'll give it a proper indentation. There you are. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this. And then what I'm going to add up here, well, here, just create a div class, chart box. So we will nest this in and then give it a fixed height and width or fixed width. The height will be automatically adjusted based on that. Then we say here, we're going to create a style tag. There's a here for the dot for the class chart, capital letter B for box. And then in here, we're going to put in the width of 700 pixels. All right. So once we save this, we're not done yet. We need to have the chart.js library. So I'm going to click on getting started and click on the sub menu of getting started. And in here, we're going to copy this part here. And we're going to put in this JavaScript library of chart.js. Make sure it's always above the chunk of code. Main reason for this is this is dependent on here. It uses certain variables that is understood in the chart.js library. All right, if I save this right now and refresh, you can see we have now a wonderful bar chart, but I don't want this, I want a donut chart. So I'm going to put in a donut chart with H, save that, refresh. So there we are, we have something now, but we still have these numbers here. I want to remove those numbers. Probably we can do it on the scales. If I comment these out, save this and refresh, there you are. So now we have a nice donut chart. I feel that this donut chart is slightly too, too large. So I'm going to reduce it to 500 pixels. There you are. So that's better. What we're going to do is here, first of all, I'm going to remove this. We can just remove all of this, all right. And then what we can do is we can do here a percentage cutout. So in Chart.js version three, we don't use any more cut out percentage, or I think it's cut out percentage. This is in Chart.js 2 and beyond and below. But in Chart.js version 3, we don't use percentage anymore. It's by default given that it's percentage because we're going to put in the value here. Let's say here will be 90 and percent symbol, which means percentage would be redundant because we say already here 90%. So if I do this, this, the section of the entire bar chart will look like a ring. There you are. So that starts to look quite nice. We're almost done here. What I'm going to do here first, I'm going to do here plugins and I'm going to remove the legend. The legend display false. Save that. There you are. So now we have this final item. Basically, here, all we have to do here is we can say here, border radius and then we put in a value. Let's say put in here uh, 30 pixels. 30. So number 30. No need to put in pixels because it's given. And refresh you can see now we have this wonderful rounded part of our uh, segments or you can see every section here or every segment of the pie chart or, or donut chart is now rounded what we can do as well imagine you have not only one but maybe have multiple data sets so how can we do that well we can just copy this we get our entire data set here comma paste and comma paste Save that, refresh, there we are. So now we have multiple options here all together. And if we would change maybe the colors a bit, you would see things. Let's do some different values here. Six, nine, one, uh, 10, and three, all right. And then we have another one here. This would be 33, 25, 45, 60, I'm just doing some random numbers, 22 and 31. If I save this and refresh, you can see all the differences and all these values here. 
and this creates a nice ring with very nice rounded options here or basically a nice rounded border radius and we can reduce the cutout here i guess the cutout should be maybe reduced to a lower value if i save that here that it looks far more better and what we could do as well we could probably move this into the options here we just put it in here and we could say here border radius as well delete this and delete this and finally this one here save that oh all right so this doesn't work we can double check what's going on unexpected identifier on 91 91 There you are. The reason why there was an issue was because I forgot a comma. And now you can see it will look exactly as what we did before. We just fine tune it by just setting it in the options, meaning that every new ring we add up or every new donut ring will be matching with our requirements. And this is how you can play around with a donut chart and how to give these donut segments a rounded border. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.